YouTube, what's good, bro? It's Aiden. Hope everyone's been doing well. But I hope everyone's been taking care of themselves. Um, I'm here to open up to you guys about the title of the video. I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, I was on a binge uh, drinking lean. If you guys don't know what that is, it's Ooh. cough syrup. Do not do it. Nah, the start of this. First of all, I read the title. I be thinking of shit. Be, I be thinking stuff like this be clickbait, bro. How do... Hmm? Wait. Um, I'll talk more into it. I'll talk more about it um, later on. But I was addicted to, to, to that. Um, and I fell off my, my journey a little bit. Um, oh, this is new. This is, yo, this is. Um, and I started doing things and started arrogant, started coming out of me. And I became a version of myself I wasn't familiar with. And people around me weren't. And just when I was off it. Just fevers and sweats and just oh, my was became a good, really, though. really bad person. Yo, I be confused. Like, I'm, I'm my fault, so I know y'all hate me pausing like, all the time. I just be mad confused. Because it be like, bro, how do you go from not... I get it. You kind of enter those circles, I guess, so to speak. Because, like, it's kind of like a thing to do so somewhat, like, as far as rap music. But, bro, that ain't the, that ain't the route, bro stomach problems and constipation just all sorts of crazy stuff man and uh you know you just you you end up in this trap and for everyone that's suffering addiction you know exactly what i'm talking about and at first you know you're like i'll never do that and then you end up doing it and then you don't realize it from one one then you don't realize it eventually you don't realize you're that you're addicted yeah. and it takes you away and it steals you and you gotta boss up man and you gotta really discipline yourself and really understand when an addiction happens and you know make sure that you kill it and I was lucky to kill it quicker than others. Um, but it's still a very, very serious addiction. And I'm opening up to you guys about it. Um, Bro, this my is not slight, though. Like, feel me? It's not no, no low, you feel me, bro? Lean, bro? I don't even seem like your character. I feel like you just was kind of just doing. I ain't trying to, like, hit on him, but, like, I don't You feel me? Like, Twitter community uh -huh. and my some of my Twitch community was making fun of me about it. Uh, TikTok does, but I know my YouTube comment section. You guys have always been showing me love, and and it's honestly just so positive over here, man. I just feel so comfortable speaking freely, right? Um, but um, I fell off my my weight journey, as I said, and I plan on getting right back in the gym, guys. You know, I sp I, I spoke to Tristan and Andrew. They told me straight up, you need to punish yourself like ASAP. You need to punish yourself. Don't go to the gym Monday. Go now. You know, mm. so. Oh, yeah, um, this is new. This is brand new. Good, brand new. I'm thinking, bro, I'm thinking about something like a haircut and all that. He's talking to Tristan and all these dudes, bro. Mm. That's brand new. Just got I'm disciplining myself as we speak. Um, when you're on opioids, you crave nothing but sweets. I got all these sweets out of my system. Like, I'm just trying to sweat all this stuff out of my system. All these, all these things getting trying to get out of me. Throwing out everything, all junk food, back to a strict diet. Back to my weight gains and back to spreading love and nothing but. You know, I'm done pausing after this. You know what's good about this though, bro? He's opening up, being honest. Pause. So open, so open up. But my son being honest, you feel me? He could have kept this to himself. I would have never knew this. Yeah, I probably if me boy, people like me wouldn't have known this. Like some of y'all be, I ain't gonna say infiltrating niggas' lives because they be putting their life on display. But some of y'all be prying or just like in too deep, so to speak. I'm, but I'm not a rapper. But, we're, but I mean, that's cool. You feel me? You might see somebody. He got a he got a uh, big enough platform. He's influential enough that so people gonna listen to him. I hope y'all stay off lean. Trust me when I say, bro, that joint ain't no joke. First of all, it's an expensive habit, bro. You know how back in the day it used to be like Coke was a white man drug, bro. That's what we will. Well, lean is liquid heroin, bro. Listen, nobody ever told you if you take lean is liquid heroin, bro. No funny. No funny. Like, perks, I'm not about to sit here and be like, yo, you feel me? Don't do it. But just if you are doing it, bro, and you're addicted, try to get help. And if not, like, make sure you know exactly what you're getting into and, and make sure that you're doing it properly to the point where you're going to be alive. You can stay alive because people be ODing. Like, not even, like, on no... I wasn't even saying like literally OD. I'm saying like they just be taking it to the furthest extent, be like poking it, bro, like doing too much. You feel me? And then that don't catch up. And then y'all in y'all twenties, especially if y'all in y'all twenties, y'all thirties, y'all young, bro. 
And you may not feel those effects now, but the longer you live, bro, you'll start having problems because of that, man. So, um, yeah, bro, be very mindful. I like it's so many other outlets as well. Like, bro, man, even shrooms. I'm not good in shrooms. Do your research on all of this, but I'm just saying it's healthy alternatives, bro. And even with that, you don't do that off. You don't do that a lot. You feel me? Anything you do, no matter what you do, if you do too much of it, bro, it's not it's not necessarily a good thing. So, man, just do something else. You feel me? Figure out another route. If you are doing them, you feel me? Seek help. If not, you feel me? If not for the betterment of yourself, maybe for the friends, family, or whoever, your future self, you owe it to that person. You heard? So, yeah, man, just stay off that. Uh, and again, lean is expensive, bro. <laughs> the lean back then in the day used to be expensive. Even now... Man, listen, bro. It ain't worth it. But love. Rather y'all because smoke we live in a world where evil is very, very uh, contagious and it just dwells and it exists on so many people and yeah, it's horrible. Um, uh, another thing I want to do is I want to use my platform, yeah. my, 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 my message to, to really sorry, under, just let everyone know that you're not alone, man. And, 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 you know, this addiction stuff is real. I know a lot of people that are still addicted to it. Not even just lean, bro. Like, just in general, just <laughs> drugs and alcohol and all these things. And it's just horrible, bro. Like, you can be better, bro. Like, I get it. It's an escape, and it's, it's but disease, it's a trap. Bro. It's the devil. Yo, yo, addiction is a bro. disease. Like, too. You don't... Let's make that very clear. Addiction is a disease, bro. Addiction is a disease. Trust me. Like it, se- it sounds easy to just be like kick it, bro. But addiction is in itself is just a disease, bro. That junk. It take more than that. Like it take willpower. It take discipline. It take a person. And it, and it, and it, 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 it takes like reprogramming in a sense, bro. I don't need that. Oh, yeah. You're you. I love you, and and I'm here for you. You know. It's it's serious, man. And um, you know, I've been clean for for about a week now. Getting off it, I took a little break break from streaming and and, and videos and stuff. But you know, man, I'm 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 getting back to my normal self, man. And I'm I'm getting. I would have never again. guessed and if you just said I was in such a dark hole. And if you just I'm said like more about on my streams, I stream now as you guys like, go and kick. Or something crazy. I kind of would have seen that. Um, and you're like just gonna see a lot better for me. Um, and uh, and another yeah. thing, son, John's all these drugs be cut with. Add other drugs now, bro. So just I love all of you, man. God, please, Everyone stay, stay up. Everyone stay positive. I'm giving you guys a video of me in the gym. You guys need a gym video like at least once every two weeks. So you know I'm still locked in. And I will. I'm going to make sure that I'm locked in for you guys, man. Hope everyone's doing really well, though, man. I miss you all very, very deeply and very well. Um, and you know who you kind of remind me of? By my side. Like, he reminds me of Fate or well, Northern Shat, like, before. You feel me? No matter what. Not before, but, like. You guys are there to catch me and and remind me of who I am. And I love you all for that. And I'm here to remind you that you're a legend. You're a boss. You got it. Keep going in your life. And I'm going to pick you up when you fall because you do the same for me. And you got to hold people accountable too, brother. But yeah, I hear you. Yo, man, respect to this man. Uh, I didn't know this. I'm not even going to say a lie. If you said like perks or something, like I said, like Zan or something, or Coke, I would have been like, oh, okay, I can see that. Bro, lean, I did. I see that coming from you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I stay off them though. Stay off them, man. God willing, man. Stay strong, brother. Seek the help you deserve. And anybody else out there, man, see, please seek the help you deserve. Or, or, or talk to somebody or something. You know what I mean? Get that situated, man. That junk is not a joke. You may not think you're addicted, but you won't know you're addicted until people around you, until, or until, like, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, man. God, God bless, brother. Peace. Be safe out there.